and welcome back. Hey, good to see you. You had enough courage to come back. You been practicing <clears throat> section one? I have. You better than the first week? That was the worst you'll ever see. <laughs> Every training session after the first one is better. Okay. Right? Let's go to section two today. Let's do it. And for all those folks watching, hopefully you guys are up practicing with us. Get something that's spear-like. If you can get a spear, I recommend using a spear. Use the real weapon. Uh, but if you can't, use anything that's a long pole. Even your bow staff will work. And let's go on to section two right now. I'll put a link in the upper right-hand corner of the screen for section one. If you want to watch that, it's also clickable down below in the description and comments. And of course, as always, before we start the instruction of the Chinese spear today, hit the like button, hit the share button, subscribe, and leave me a question, comment, or a what's up, Jake, or Jake, you the man, down below in the comments. Let's go. Okay, just a quick review from last week. Okay. We bow, salute up, grab the spear, pull it across the body, hold toward the end. Cat stance, law, no weight on the left foot. Na to horse stance, shake the spear. Cha to bow, pull back to horse. Now cross behind, big circle la. Horse stance, na. Cha to bow, pa, pull back to horse. Now the jump out, la as you land. Good balance. Then go to horse, na, come down. Cha to bow, pull back again this way. Okay, you're looking much better. Much better than the first week. Couple reps. Yeah. I got pool cues at home. They, they, they oh, that cues. would be a good idea. Yeah, pool cues. Like if you get in a fight in the pool hall, it's like... Like a Jackie boom. Chan movie, like in Rush Hour. Yeah. Okay, if we start where section one left off, we're in both stance, thrusting, pulling back to horse. So now we step out with the right leg, but block the person to our left. So we're stepping north, but blocking west. We take a second step toward the north and gnaw boom, again toward the west over there. Now we take a big giant step around the left leg with the right leg, go to bow stance, boom, and thrust out to bow this way. Go for it, thrust him. Good. Now, the spear is in their chest cavity. So we're gonna pull it out, blood guts and all, and rip it back across our chest in this cross stance right here just momentarily. Now we do a, a cheater no action step with a spear in hand. And then again, cross behind, la, na to horse, pa, cha to bow, and pull back. Now turn to the left, pivot on your right leg. On one leg this way and la on one foot. Yes. Na to horse, pa, cha to bow. Pull back. And that's almost the end of today's section. All right. uh, I'm going to post this on YouTube so you as well can go and review your own self cool. at home right. if you have any questions. Okay, same beginning. Section one ended with thrust, pull back to horse stance. So now we're going to step forward with the right leg and la, blocking the person to our left. Step forward the left leg, na, the person to the left. Then step straight forward toward that person over there because we don't like that person. We're gonna step forward to a full on bow and skewer them, boom, right into the chest cavity. Immediately pull it out, rip it back across the shoulders right here. Then we take that no action step, keep the spear in front, no action with the spear. Then it's cross behind, la, na to horse, cha to bow, pull it back. Now, spin to your left, pivot all the way around 180, and la right here. Lifting your left leg. Good. Set that leg down to na. Then cha. Now, carefully, when you pull it back this time, watch. I shoot it back to extend some over here. Okay? Now, step forward all the way to horse stance. Slam them down with that butt in. Come back to cat stance. Cut them over the top this way. Now deflect past your leg. Step forward. Hit them on the head once. Ha! Then hit them. Lay it right in their lap or in their stomach. The reverse bow right there. That's going to end today's section. And you've got the Chuck Norris, the sensory stretchy martial art jeans on. So no excuse, you should be going nice and low. So Jim, you look to me like you're about 45 years old. Uh, close. How old are you? 64. 64. It's the Kung Fu. It's also why I can't go as low as you. Man, I can't believe it. Like, 
I'm judging my own age compared to where I was 10 years ago. And every year I get a little stronger, I feel, but it takes me longer to warm up. So what do you think some of the secrets are for folks that are like over the age of 50 with Kung Fu? Um, just wait. <laughs> <laughs> Does I get, do I get more flexible with age? No, and it takes you a lot longer to warm up and okay. recovery, recovery time. But what are some of your secrets of your strength and youth? Because you're a pretty healthy guy and you're strong as nails. And uh, I think you look pretty young, so. It doesn't feel that way because I used to be stronger and more flexible. Okay. And no matter what I do, it's going the wrong way. But if I look around at my peers. That are the same age as you. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Yeah, you feel like you're at the top tier. This is just practice for your heart still working when you're 90. Yeah, sure. And keep your brain going. Yep. How many days a week do you hit the gym? How many days a week do you train Kung Fu? What's three your gym, three Kung Fu, one okay. rest. So you're training six days a week, three in the gym, three Kung Fu, and a rest day. Right. And what do you do on the rest day? Just... Watch football and stuff like that. <laughs> Bow, salute, rip across, cat stands la, horse stands na, cha, pull back. Now cross behind, la, na, cha, pull back. Good, what's next? Good, jump, see he's getting it. Na, cha, pull back. Now the new piece, la to forward bow, na to forward bow. Hey, that guy is taunting us. Skewer them. Pull right in the neck. Rip it out of them. Now show them the blood. No action step. And then we go cross behind. La. Na. Cha. Pull it back. Left leg comes up. Big spin. La on one leg. Good balance. Na to horse. Cha. Pull back and lengthen the end. Now break their skull. Now cut their neck, ha, cat stance. Deflect their weapon, tap them once in the forward bow, then again, reverse bow. The next week we're gonna change these here and do some of these fancy moves. Next time. All right. One final time, I'm behind you, right. follow just my voice. Got it. Okay, section one ended with thrust and pull back. Section two begins with la, na, now take him out. Don't take me out. Rip it back. That's okay. Pivot. Good. Now show them the bloody spear. No action step. Now cross behind. La. Na. Cha. Pull back. Now the guy over here is going to take you out, but you have no weapon over there. So left leg comes up. In. Quick block that guy right there. Na down. Prep his weapon. Kill that guy. Pull it back. When you pull it back, lengthen. Now break his skull. Ha! Tap him with the spear. Cat stance, good. Block his weapon. Tap them once to forward bow, twice to reverse bow, and you can either be, you have options here. I've seen it both ways. You can either be tapping and down, so the spear is the same angle as your leg. Good. Or you can be tapping, and up, so the spear is the exact opposite of your leg. I've seen both ways. I give you permission to do this one, or permission to do this one. Whatever way you want. Let me do it once for you, full speed and slow-mo from the front and the back, for you guys at home and for you.
What'd you think of this new section? Cool. Here's your homework. You gotta go home, get the section down mentally facing the direction you're used to, and then can you do it facing the other direction, and then to the left and then to the right. If you can do it facing all four cardinal directions, then you've pretty much got it. I'll do it. And I want you to work on low stances. Don't go fast, go low. Every time you thrust that spear, go with power. So power and low stances. Come back next time and we'll do section three, and section three is when it gets serious. All right. So if you guys are out there and want to see the next piece, go to the next video. It's going to be up soon. Subscribe. And uh, when the next video is up, I'll post in the comments down below the link so you guys can go to it. Say thanks to my man Jim down there. And uh, hope you guys appreciate this format. We're trying to, I don't like being the, the performing monkey all the time on the camera for you guys. I like having an instructional type format where somebody who has not seen something before like Jim gets to learn it with me and you guys get to it at the same time. If you guys like this, tell me in the comments and I'll do more of this. In my opinion, lately my YouTube channel has become a lot of fight videos, a lot of Tai Chi videos, and some of the vlogs, but I'm wanting to get back to the traditional Shaolin Kung Fu instruction. We've got a lot to teach. So I'll see you guys back here next time or on the Jake Mace Tai Chi Snapchat Instagram and thanks for being a great student today. You bet.